Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got another DIY pedal video for you today. Now, if you're a subscriber to the channel, I'm sure you've seen some of my previous pedal videos. I built this uh, rat attack, this rat clone quite a while ago. Uh, I did this fuzz face clone not too long ago. Uh, I did this Quaverado uh, from Zeppelin Design Labs. You know, and all of those were complete kits where you buy and you get the enclosure, the circuit board, all the parts, everything. What I'm doing this week, or this time, is a little different. Uh, I built this here, I'm calling it the Green Verb, and as the name infers, it's a reverb pedal. Now, if you're gonna say, hey, wait, you built a spring reverb a while back, I did, in fact, I have it right here. I built this, and effectively, I guess you could call this a pedal because it's got an input and an output and some controls. Um, and so it is, I guess, technically a pedal, but you know, it's a, it's a spring reverb inside that I, that I made myself. Well, it doesn't really fit on an average pedal board, whereas this will. And this is the first kit that I've ever gotten from pedalpcb.com. Now, they're different than these other ones, which are kits, as I mentioned, they come with everything you need. Pedal PCB only sells you the PCB. So that's literally the printed circuit board, that's it. No parts, you have to source all your own resistors, all your own capacitors, all of that. Now, the good news is the boards, the PCBs are like, you know, $10 or less for most of them. They're very, very inexpensive, but I sourced all the parts from Mouser with the exception of the belt and brick. I'll talk more about that in a little bit, but the belt and brick is what actually gives it the reverb circuit. That I could not get from Mouser, so I had to get that from another place. But, um, so, you know, what happens is these resistors are 10, 12, 13 cents a piece if you're just buying one. Now, if you buy them in bulk, they end up getting cheaper. But, so I bought the parts uh, and I put them together uh, just like any other kit. So basically I just sourced all the parts from, the, from Mouser and then started building it. So put the resistors in, put the diodes in, uh, you know, the ICs, et cetera, et cetera, and just start populating the entire PCB and soldering it. Now this circuit that is used in here inside uh, what I'm calling the green verb or what pedal PCB calls the sproing, um, is actually a clone of the Boeing pedal, if you've ever heard of that, which is, it's effectively, it's basically just a, your most basic that you can make um, reverb with the belt and brick. Now the belt and brick is a digital chip that responds like a traditional reverb tank. So when you have a traditional reverb tank, you know, the tank tends to be eight, 10, 12 inches. So you, it's hard to fit that inside of a pedal or you can't really put fit that inside of a pedal unless it's a very big pedal. Well, the belt and brick is very small. It's only about a couple inches. What happens is it responds basically like a reverb tank, but it's a chip. So you can basically substitute it anywhere you can use a reverb tank or more or less, right? So that's what this does, just a very simple circuit. It has one knob for the amount of reverb and that's it, an on off switch, an LED, very, very simple project. So I put this whole thing together and as you can see, I did the green paint job and then I did these little leaf uh, decals on it and called it the green verb just because I thought that sounded fun. Um, but effectively it is the sproing circuit and one knob here, like I said, very, very simple in, out and power. Instructions are very lightweight on a kit like this. Like if you, if you need that step-by-step, -step, you know, put this in, put this in, put this in. Uh, this kind of kit is probably not for you. So it's probably not a good one for a first time builder. But if you have those things on hand, you can just buy those PCBs and save yourself a lot of money. So if that's kind of the thing you're into. In any case, uh, let's plug this in and hear what it does. Okay, folks, so I got the green verb here and it's currently in the bypass mode. So here is our clean tone. <laughs> So there we go. Let's go ahead and kick it in. By the way, I got the Les Paul Jr. today. This is a great demo guitar because it's just got a real raw and nasty kind of sound. Uh, so anyway, so currently the uh, reverb amount is all the way at the bottom, so it should be basically a clean signal still. <laughs> So let's go ahead and start increasing it. So I'll turn it up to like here. We should hear a very mild reverb. Just barely hear a little reverb tail on that. Let's crank it up a little bit. Let's see what this sounds like. some reverb tails there. Let's crank it up a little more. Okay. If you didn't hear it before, you definitely hear it now. So 
definitely, definitely hear that. Let's go fully wet and uh, see what we get here. <laughs> So there you go, folks. That was the Sproing uh, PCB from PedalPCB.com, which I turned into the green verb. So if you're curious, that's an easy way to make a reverb pedal. So again, not a lot of controls. You've just got this one control, so you don't have the dwell and the depth and all these different things that some of the more fully featured reverbs have. You don't have different modes. It's just very, very simple. But if what you're wanting to do is just basically emulate a spring reverb, this is a great way to do it. it. takes up a lot less room on your pedal board than does something like this. So there you go. I'm actually pretty happy with it. It'll just be great anytime I need a little reverb to add to something. There you go. So if you like these pedal related videos, please check out my playlist that I have in the description. It's got a lot of different pedal videos, stuff that I've made, stuff that I've bought and different things like that, but a lot of pedal content there. And if you like what I do on this channel, I would really, really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. I will see you guys soon.